hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is no yeah thank you so much for finding time to click on my video to watch if it's your first time if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i'm super grateful and excited that you keep coming to watch my content so if, if it's your first time please hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell that way you'd get notified when i drop my next content thank you so much for finding time to click to watch it's december 2020 and we give thanks to god that we finally made it onto the end of the year 2020 it's christmas is around the corner a lot of people have started to shop for christmas i have some tips that i would like to share with you and would you please keep watching welcome back so the first tip i have for you if you're shopping already or if you're planning to shop for christmas at such a time as this is to first of all calm down <laughs> it's the first of all get a list make a list of everyone that will be benefiting from what you're shopping for for this year in this part of the world a lot of people want to shop for family members friends spouses children but employers want to shop for employees business owners want to shop for their clients and people customers and people connected to and related to them in one way or the other so the first thing is to make a list a comprehensive list of the members of the family and friends and businesses and customers that you want to give something to at this period so when you have that list remember that that list but it should include you so when you have that list done would you please attach to every name the items that you would want to give to everyone please be specific this time we all know that the pandemic hit the world this time except if you're living under the rock you would not know that the pandemic hit the entire nation this year and a lot has been affected including the prices of items all over the globe okay so you want to have that at the back of your mind while you're shopping or while you're preparing for christmas or while you're buying your stuff for christmas or while you're making that list for christmas so you want to put that at the back of your mind while preparing for christmas or while shopping so for everyone who is supposed to have an item please write whatever item it is that they're going to have beside that name so if you get that out of the way would you please make another list now this list you just have all the items that you want to buy now you have the first list has the name of the people that you want to give items to or you want to get items for with the items that you want to give to them specifically and now you want to transfer it to a new list that has the items that you want to get now when you write down these items that you want to get the next thing you want to do is to find out the prices of these items right you may want to check out the prices of these items online you may want to check through social media on instagram on small vendors or small businesses or companies and find out how much this goods cost or how much these items cost you may also want to check your local stores to find out how much this costs so you may want to walk into some stores to find out you may want to make phone calls send emails send sms or just contact these people to find out how much these items cost so when you are done with that then the next thing you want to check is your pocket check your pocket check your wallet check your purse by that i mean can you truly afford these items that you have listed so this is what i think look at your bank account now make a budget how much do i intend to spend at such a time as this agree with your bank agree with your pocket agree with your mind agree with yourself that this is the amount of money that you intend to spend remember you don't want to run into debt at this time because there's still january 2021 bills are still going to be paid so when you check your budget how much you're willing to let go at this time and check your your shopping list now the question is are they at par mm -hmm. do they agree mm -hmm. marry the two together do, you, do they complement each other are they on the same table if they are not now you want to check if the prices are ahead of your budget now the prices that you have listed and the total of the prices that you have listed you want to check if that is a par with your budget if it's higher than your budget then you know that it's time to strike out some items yes some items will have to go because they have to match with your budget so if you strike out these items you may want to look for cheaper items or alternatives to match up for these items so that it can stand with your budget but if you check on the other hand and your budget is ahead of your list now you have some extra cash you know that's why planning is very important but if you're not somebody who plans you may run into debt honestly because a lot of things will catch your attention at this time a lot of vendors are out there to display their product and they want a lot of people to buy and then you are 
one of their potential customers so you have to be careful time as so it's important you weigh so whatever you have to do to make them at par then it's important that you make them at par they are on the same level your budget with the prices that you have for these people that you want to give to including yourself so if that's out of the way the next step that you want to consider before you go shopping is to edit your list okay edited so if you've edited your list and you have all of that in place that the prices match up with the budget that you have at hand then it's time to decide where to shop where do i shop now look at the items that you have you have written and then you want to group them do you have groceries among them do you have do you have items that are household equipment do you have the ones that you can shop online do you want to shop for them online do you want to contact your local vendor do you want to go into the open market to buy them do you want to buy it around your community depending on where you live you have to make this decision you want to buy food items where do you get food items at the cheaper rate where you do not have to break your neck where are you going to get these items i have a video coming up on where to shop in lagos for different items so i'm going to group these items into different partitions and then this video will be coming up after this video so please ensure that you hit the subscribe button and have the notification bell turned on because it's going to be a very good and detailed video on where you can shop in lagos okay so if you have this out of the way there are small vendors that you can contact on social media especially on instagram who would give you good prices also these are people who are just starting their businesses and they're looking out to help you make your shopping easier so you can contact some of them and they can have it delivered you also always, you also have to look at the kind of product that you're buying and the products that can be delivered to you are the product that you want to go and get yourself now i suggest that when it comes to food and and drink especially raw food in this part of the world i suggest you go in there yourself into open market where you can see these items to sell see what the cost see how you can even share with people there are people who buy food who buy meat like cows and then you can't serve there's some people who can buy a whole cow so you may want to share this cow with another person in the open market so it's usually more affordable or cheaper when you go in person or you contact small businesses or small vendors who can help you get this meat at a very affordable price and they have it delivered to your house so you want to check the prices it's very important you want to check where to buy this item specifically now i'd like to say that when it comes to kids please do not buy items for kids with emotions how many toys can a child get at a particular time i suggest that you buy within your budget and please mystify whatever gift it is you're giving to children just mystify it yes and make it look very special to them regardless of how much it costs remember it's not about the price it's not about the cost it's about what you're giving and how you're giving and it's a gift from the heart and let every child understand that this is a gift from the heart and it's coming sincerely from the heart of the parents or of the aunties or people connected or related to them now i also su i also suggest that when shopping you want to also take away stress from yourself you do not want to stress yourself out because you want to shop and that's why you have to be sure of what you're doing and whom you're contacting when you're shopping okay remember also that you do not want to start the new year with debt no one wants to start the new year with debt and remember that there's still going to be another christmas after this christmas so you don't want to break your back and you don't want to spend everything that you've saved up for from from begin from the beginning of the year up until now so you also want to remember the less privileged people please do not leave them out of your shopping list can i say this one more time if you have less privileged people within your community around where you leave please always put them on your list because these people sometimes don't get to celebrate christmas like you and your families would celebrate christmas so you want to consider them look around for these people within your community you would find them everywhere and make sure that they also get a part of the gift for christmas put a smile on somebody's face be happy with yourself share it's a season to share it's a season to love it's a season to be happy so thank you very much i hope these tips make sense to you if they do please give this video a thumb up and when you do 
don't forget to share with your loved ones and friends and family and for anyone who would be shopping at such a time as this don't forget to smash on that subscribe button leave the notification bell turned and that way you'd get notified when i drop my next content remember the next content went to shop in lagos until i come your way in another video in that video please stay safe be blessed be happy and i'll see you god willing in my next video bye bye for now if you are new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you